Welcome back to all folks racing PC. What a race we had. Round that race one already done. This is race two of the same round. We continue to be at the Brasilia International Circuit. That's there on the right. With the Reynard 98 with the Mercedes Benz Power. So the champ car of the late 1990s. And uh, by the way, this car did not race at Indianapolis uh, for the record. It did race in ovals, but uh, not specifically at Indianapolis, as this was the time of the split, uh, where a completely different type of car was racing in Indianapolis. But that's just history of open wheel racing in North America. We have a race to commentate on now. Chris Perry and Jürgen Smets are on the front row, and uh, Chris Perry again on pole position. Let's see if he manages to get off the line this time round. And Jürgen Smets, who of course challenged for the win in race one, also on the front row. Second row is Mark Helder and Mike Stevens. Third row is uh, Kev Allen and race one winner, Jürgen Silva. Fourth row is Simon Allen and Hand. Fifth row, David Good and Wayne Robinson. Sixth row, Jorge Luna and Peter Karsberg. And, and the last row, it's Matt Coward and Christian Clark joining this second race. Uh, perhaps lacking a little bit of practice. Let's see what he can do from 14th on the grid as they go. At this time, Chris Perry does manage to uh, get away more or less nicely. Let's go and uh, see uh, the middle of the field as uh, somebody's uh, running wide there. That I believe was Diogo Silva running wide in turn one and uh, Christian Clark already in pit lane. Christian Clark, what happened to him? He did not even get. Did he actually start the race or not very sure what happened here, uh, but we'll get a replay and try to understand what happened. Now Christian Clark is on the grid. Oh, he probably did ready up and he's already out of this race. Look at that, Matt Coward already in the wall. As uh, Peter Karsberg is up into that. Let's see what happened there with Hugo Silva locking up and uh, almost losing it, but coming back. Yeah, ahead of Peter Karsberg and then Chris Perry goes into the lead of this race. Chris Perry is in the lead of this race. It's race two of round eight. He is ahead of uh, Jurgen Smets and Mark Helder. Look at Mark Helder in third place. Fourth is Cavallo. Fifth is Mike Stevens. Cavallo tries to go there on the inside. Sixth is Seven Allen. Seventh, uh, Darren had a nice start from Darren. Eighth is uh, Diogo Silva. Ninth, Peter Karsberg and that is Wayne Robinson and they are still all lap one. And so far, no major drivers, which is uh, quite uh, interesting as these drivers seem to be getting more familiar with this uh, very hard uh, car to control. Uh, Mark Elder is uh, Mark Elder is putting pressure on Jurgen Smith. Mark Elder is all over the place. Trying to get into that second place, Chris Perry already 1.3 seconds ahead of uh, Jurgen Smet. Jurgen Smet trying to protect uh, that second position, and they are about to complete the first lap of this race. First lap uh, complete by Chris Perry, and look at uh, what the first lap it was 1.4 seconds ahead of Jurgen Smet and uh, Mark Elder. To third place, trying to get uh, into second place. Other drivers behind uh, Kevala, Mike Stevens, uh, Seven Hour, Darren Head, Jim Silver, Peter Kasberg, and the three their positions. And uh, when Robinson completes the top 10, look at this. Uh, Mark Elder on the inside there. Mark Elder on the inside. And uh, can he do it? I think he can do it. Yes, he can. And Jurgen Smets uh, had a bit of cooperation there. Otherwise, it would have been carnage. But Mark Elder is uh, now up into second place. Let's look uh, for other battles. Chase Cameron, probably best way to figure out where different drivers are. Cavall is still behind uh, those two drivers battling for second place. That is Mike Stevens, that is Seven Hour, that is uh, Darren Head, that is uh, Diogo Silva. Darren Head locking up there. And here comes Diogo now, very close to Darren. Battle for seventh spot. And Darren Head is locking up again consistently. That there's a battle there between, I believe, Simon Allen and uh, no, it's between Mike Stevens and uh, Kev Allen. Mike Stevens uh, actually went ahead. We'll get the replay 
of uh, how he did it, but it seems to be on the inside there. Nice opportunistic move there by Mike Stevens on the inside, and uh, he is uh, going ahead into fourth spot. This is fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth are relatively together with uh, Peter Kasberg in ninth. Uh, a little bit uh, separated from this driver, that is Wayne Robinson. And Wayne has already lost 8 seconds. David Good uh, in 11, Matt Coward in 12, and Farha Luna in uh, 13th. But we have potentially a battle now between Chris Perry and Mark Elder. Uh, Mark very quick, but uh, Chris already 2.4 seconds ahead. And uh, look at this group here. That's the group I was talking about with uh, Mike Stevens now in fourth place, fifth is Kev Allen. And then we've got Simon Allen, Darren Head, and Diogo Silva. Chase Cameron with Diogo Silva in uh, eighth place. He's one and a half seconds ahead of Peter Karsberger. And following a bunch of other drivers as uh, Darren Head continues to lock up uh, in uh, various corners here in this uh, mid section of the Brazilian circuit. Look at uh, Mike Stevens and Caval, and they are relatively together there. So it's a good exit there by Diogo. And Darren now is uh, making a mistake there. Potentially, this is the opportunity. And can you go on the outside? And somebody's off there. Somebody's off there. It's uh, Mike Stevens. It is Mike Stevens, and he was coming back into the track. Uh, a little bit surprised, really, as he, ooh, he seems to have just lost it on his own. He's uh, doing the Dakar rally. Now he's trying to find some grip. He's trying to keep it on a straight line. And that's their head. That, that's uh, well, that's their head. And you silver. So Mike Stevens down into eight spots. He's still ahead of uh, uh, Peter Kosberger. But uh, all of a sudden, everyone behind Cap Allen goes up a place, so Simon Allen up in the fifth. Sixth is Dan Head, seventh is Joe Silva, eighth is Mike Stevens. As we follow him now, and they should be able to recover because it seems to be that he has a better pace than some of the drivers in front. We'll keep an eye on the battle for the lead now. It seems to be fairly stable. They are doing 126, which is a very fast time indeed. But uh, Chris Perry is still managing to be half a second faster than Mark Elder at, uh, on uh, lap 3. We will have 14 laps, so we have plenty of racing to go. But uh, the nice battle is uh, probably wrong here, as now Joe Silva is getting under pressure from uh, Chris Perry. David Good uh, also not far behind uh, Wayne Robinson. And uh, Luna trying to uh, get back at uh, Matt Coward. Let's go back and check on the race leader as he completes lap four. Jurgen Smets uh, now running on his own. He is uh, running in third place. He's four seconds behind Mark, or three and a half seconds behind Mark. And he's got four seconds ahead of Simon Allen, which is the first driver in that group. In fact, he's uh, running on his own as well. He's got a couple of seconds over Darren Head. Here is that group, Darren Head, Young Silva, and Mike Stevens, who are in 5th, 6th, and 7th. Peter Kasberger, nicely done there. He continues to hold on to 8th place. He's coming potentially under pressure from Kev Allen. That's what happened, what happened to Kev. What happened to him? We haven't seen, I believe we have not seen what happened to Kev Allen. As he, well, we saw Mike Stevens. Oh, yes. And this is what happened to Kev. He's going to lose it right around right here. He's flipping the curb. And spins. He is now in desert land in Brasilia. You can see other drivers going around him as uh, Peter Karsbergen is the last driver to go around him. And uh, he's a bit too late because Cavallon is down now in tonight. 
and uh, Wade Robinson is still a few seconds behind, so we'll keep an eye for other battles as uh, David Good is not far behind Wayne, and Matt Coward is not far behind uh, David, and Luna is not far behind Matt, but uh, we'll keep an eye on these uh, battles as they now complete another lap. With Darren has it up into fifth now, somehow up into fourth. The top three are relatively stable and have checked out from the rest of the field. Then we've got the group that includes Simon Allen, Darren Head, Diogo Silva. Diogo Silva is trying to now defend from Mike Stevens as he's locking up now. He's locking up and running wide, so already feeling the pressure from Mike Stevens. Mike Stevens is coming very quickly to take that sixth place. Peter Kasperger is uh, one and a half seconds behind this group. He's holding on to that uh, seventh spot, eighth spot, sorry. We'll keep an eye on uh, Kev Allen's progress, but look at the lead now that uh, uh, Chris Perry has. It was 2.4 seconds the last time I checked. It. It's now 3.8. So Chris Perry running away with uh, this race so far as we approach the mid point very shortly. Second place man is uh, Mark Elder. Let's see the times 126.422. That's an alien time by Chris Perry. 126.803. That's an alien time, but four tenths slower from uh, Mark Elder. Third is uh, Jurgen Smets. He's on the 127. So is Simon Allen. And Diogo Silva has got ahead of Darren Head. Darren Head has had a problem. Darren Head has had a problem. He's dropped to seventh spot. Mike Stevens also up into sixth place. And uh, this is how it has happened. As uh, Darren was, well, 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 he, oh, he just, he just runs, he just outbreaks himself. And uh, has to go off the throttle. And uh, there go uh, Diogo Silva and uh, Mike Stevens. The Karsberg is still in uh, eighth place. As Darren Head is now trying to get back at Mike immediately, but uh, didn't quite work there in that tight corner. We're still not yet at the midpoint of this race, which will be the completion of lap seven. But now up into the top five goes Diogo Silva, and uh, up into sixth place goes Mike Stevens with Darren Head seven. Meanwhile, we have had a couple of changes from position. Wayne Robinson has had a problem. He seems to have lost a lot of ground. So, Will Matt Coward was also involved in something. And this is how it has happened. As uh, Wayne went uh, off and uh, lost time there. Uh, they'll get the replay from David Good's perspective. As uh, yes, that's the same curb. That's the same curb as uh, uh, I believe Kev Allen was caught on. So Luna also up into 11th spot, and Matt Coward, well, not up into 12th. Let's go back to the race leader. He's dominating this race. 3.3 seconds ahead of Mark Elder. He's at on one. 4 to 2 and uh, Mark Elder for that slower as we've seen. Lap 6 now and uh, we're approaching the midpoint of this race. He's running wide, he's running aggressively but he's uh, very effective so far. Chris Perry is uh, leading race 2 here in uh, Brasilia. In uh, this circuit that I don't even know what type of races it has hosted, but uh, I'm assuming local races, but it does seem quite a nice circuit that uh, certainly suited for cars like these uh, with very high power, just, but uh, very wide circuits and uh, enjoyable with uh, this car, as we see Mark Allen in second place, Steven Smith, and uh, in third, and of course, Simon Allen in fourth, Joe Silva now up in fifth with Mike Stevens following him. 
and Darren Head is uh, the driver that's the end of this chain now. With, uh, well, no, actually, Peter Karsberg is, oh, Kev Owen has gone up into 8th place. Peter down into 9th, so Kev Owen potentially is going to recover some ground here. Completion of lap 7 is underway as uh, the leader has completed it, and therefore we are in the second half of this race. The gap at the front is 3.6 seconds. With uh, Chris Perry again faster than Mark Elder by four tenths of a second almost on the last lap. Jurgen Smets in third. And then we follow this uh, nicely the group here Jurgen Silva, Mike Stevens, and Darren Head. And uh, Jogo also two and a half seconds behind Simon Allen, but uh, running marginally quicker in this last lap, 127.238 against Simon's 127.614. Now, Mike Stevens and uh, Darren Head are on the 128 with the uh, other drivers behind on 129s and 130s, except for Caval. Caval is coming. Potentially to join this battle as uh, Diego Silva locks up there. Here is Cavallo. Eighth place, running 21 seconds behind the leader. And look at that. Look at the lead that uh, Chris Perry has. Momentarily, it was above four seconds. As now the race, uh, well, everyone is. Uh, on a relatively stable position, trying to not rock up the boat, trying not to make mistakes. But let's see how many changes for position we see between now and the end of the race. The drivers that are closer to one another. Wayne Robinson is again off the track, and now Luna is going to go into 11th spot. So nicely done there by Luna. And uh, where is David Good? He is uh, not that close to David. David is uh, seven seconds up the road lap 8 out of 14 is where we are now and the gap at the front continues to increase now the closest drivers on the track are these guys it's a Darren Head in 7th and Kev Allen in 8th And Kev is coming with a lot of momentum here for that 7th place drivers. Remember, they were racing very hard, but fair, in race 1 for 11th and 12th. Now, slightly better, Kev Allen runs wide there. Kev Allen runs wide, and did he lose time? Yes, he did. Not much, but he lost a fair bit of time. But he seems to have better traction and better pace than Darren had at this point in time. It's a matter of completing a clean overtake, and he's coming with everything now, Kev Allen. Darren Head is losing a bit of steam there, because he's already lost uh, almost 4 seconds to 7th place, 6th place man, uh, Mike Stevens. Mike continues to be behind Jogo Silva, still on the top 5 position. One uh, second and a bit. Actually, less than a second. Well, no, a second and a bit, sorry. Let's go back to Caval and Darren Head running wide there. In, I believe that was turn two. Now into the middle section. Lap nine out of 14 completed here at Brasilia. With the uh, first ever race of all Fox Racing PlayStation with this uh, champ car, the Formula USA in uh, uh, Automobilista 2. And ahead of these two drivers, we can see Mike Stevens there. And Mike is not far behind Joe Silver, so still uh, fifth place is uh, up for grabs if uh, drivers make mistakes. Peter Kasberger is uh, running on his own now in the ninth place still a very respectable performance from the rookie as uh, he is uh, well actually not that far behind Kev and Darren 
who are of course race winners in uh, all Ford Racing PC and PlayStation. Let's go and check uh, how the race leader is doing. As uh, Chris Perry is now already on left hand. Can we see Mark Elder in the background? And the answer is no. We cannot see Mark Elder on the background because he is uh, uh, is absolutely flying, but uh, Chris Perry is just flying a lot more and a lot higher. Third is Jürgen Svets, fourth. Somehow that Jürgen Silver has lost the position. Jürgen Silver has lost the fifth position to uh, Mike Stevens. And how did that happen? We'll have a quick look. It happened a while ago. And oh, that's his, he comes in too hot. He's actually not that far behind Sabi now, and he comes way too hot here and loses it. And now he's uh, on the wrong foot in this corner. And Mike comes in and takes the position. Darren Head already dropped back a few seconds. Continues to defend from uh, Kev Allen. Battle for seven spots. Only four laps to go now in this race. Now five seconds is the gap uh, between uh, these uh, two drivers, uh, the top two drivers, sorry. As we keep uh, changing the camera angle. Trying different camera angles with uh, Automobilista 2. Chris Perry, what a race he has had so far in race 2, contrasting with uh, race one he has led every lap and he only needs to lead another three laps after the end of this one to win uh, the second race mark elder is trying everything but everything is not enough let's go back oh peter kasberg is up in wait place something happened to kev allen something happened to kev allen this is what i mentioned peter was very much in play in case another driver made a mistake, and this is a big one from uh, Kev Allen as he goes very hot there. Now he's at the exit, that's the problem. Oh, he just accelerates too much, hits the barrier. Fortunately, no damage in uh, Old Fox Racing PC, and now he's on the back foot, and here comes Peter Kasbergen up into eight spots. Peter Kasbergen doing a very good race, too. Much better than uh, in uh, race one. Kev Allen down into ninth now with uh, David Good uh, in tenth. Luna in eleventh. Twelfth is Wayne Robinson at thirteenth and last on the road is Matt Coward. Now let's look for battles here. As uh, Simon Allen now. Let's see the dynamic here between fourth, fifth, and sixth and seventh. And eight and nine, why not? Let's see who's uh, doing a better time. Seven hours crosses the line at 128.0. And look at uh, Mike Stevens, 127.363. So definitely coming in these later stages for fourth place. Yoko Silva, 128.421. That's not very really fast. Darren Head, 128.370. That's not very fast either. And Peter Kasberg, 129.799. Uh, that's not particularly fast either, and uh, of course Kev Allen 132, that was after the mistake. But it seems to me that uh, Simon Allen could come under pressure from Mike Stevens on the last lap potentially. So we still may have a battle for fourth place. We'll keep an eye on uh, this battle as they complete another lap now. The up at the front is four seconds. Yep, at the front is four seconds. And uh, race leader Chris Perry is going to complete another lap. He does a 126 6 to 2. That's very fast indeed. Mark Elder was faster on this lap. No, he wasn't. 126 7 to 3. And uh, Jurgen Smets is uh, not crossed the line yet. Across the line now, 127.9, that's not particularly fast. 
Let's look at Simon Howell and Mike Stevens. Simon Howell again at 128.0. Mike Stevens not great, great lap, 128.3. So he's running out of time as they are on lap 12 already. Two laps to go. The light Yoko Silva also on the 128. He was marginally faster than the drivers ahead, but that's not going to make a huge difference. And it was faster, however, than their head in seventh place. And uh, also faster than Peter Kasberg, and who is now under pressure from a recovery Cap Allen. This is the closest battle, and we'll spend some time watching these two drivers battle it out for eight spots. As Cap Allen after that uh, off. Oh, and here comes Cap Allen. Oh, look at the late move there. And Peter Kasberg takes the line. Still no contact. Nicely done there by both drivers. All our dry drivers behind are on the 129s. This is not an easy car to control around here in this Brazilian circuit, especially when you are under pressure from another driver. Diogo Silva is losing steam as well. He's three seconds, two, two seconds and a bit. Uh, behind Mike Stevens, Mike potentially still could go for fourth place. Only a couple more laps to go here. As uh, look at the Chris Berry 126.2 and Mark Elder. Now this is it probably, unless something major happens, he's not going to win this race. And uh, it's unusual that we have a round where Mark Elder doesn't win any race, but uh, seems we should be uh, choosing more champ cars uh, in random tracks in the future to prevent him from running away with the titles and race wins. Jürgen Smets has spent his entire race in third place and he is not bored because you cannot get bored with this car. But certainly didn't have a proper battle with anyone. Fourth is Simon Allen. Fifth is Mike Stevens. Mike is still coming at uh, Simon, but running out of time here. Diogo Silva in sixth place, seventh in third hand, eighth is Peter Kasberg. And, and where is Kev Allen? He's right behind, is the answer. Well, he's side by side here, Kev Allen. On the outside, he has done moves on the outside before, and he's going to do another one now. He's not going to do that one because Peter retains the inside line. Now he locks up. What a beautiful battle here we have for 8th spot. Last lap already for uh, race leader Chris Perry. But we will continue to... There's a, there's a battle left for 11th place between Wade Robinson and uh, Jorge Luna. But look at Caval and he is uh, absolutely flying here. Oh, late move there in the last corner, it didn't quite work, but uh, under pressure, severe pressure, is Peter Kasperger, the rookie in uh, Old Fox Racing PC. We do hope to see him uh, again in future rounds. And look at that, Cap Allen is coming with everything. They are 36 seconds behind the leader. We'll see. And uh, here comes Cap Allen, didn't quite work there. Didn't quite work. Uh, but he is coming with everything. And look at this, Cap Allen now. He's going to go side by side and they're going to have contact. Peter Kasberg and he's uh, defending for his life there on the outside. Now comes Kev Allen and Kev Allen completes the pass. Nice move there by Kev as uh, we see race uh, leader and he's going to be very shortly race winner. Chris Perry is uh, going to win a, a dominant win here at Brasilia in race two. And Chris Perry wins the race from uh, my, uh, Mark Elder. Third is going to be Jürgen Smets. Fourth is going to be Simon Allen. Fifth is going to be Mike Stevens. He's not going to get there. Simon Allen, very, very solid performance here, defending from multiple drivers and with very good and consistent pace. Sixth is going to be Diogo Silva. He's getting closer to Mike, but uh, to no avail as the checkered flag is in the air. And uh, the race winner in the race one ends up in 16. Race two, seventh is going to be Darren Head. Eighth is going to be Kev Allen. What a nice move this was on the last lap. Ninth is Peter Kasberg, and that was a good finish as well for Peter. Tenth is going to be David Goods. We haven't seen a lot of David in this race, so we will uh, do a few corners with him as he completes the top ten in the race. Check a flag is in the air for David Good. Eleventh is going to be Jorge Luna. 
who uh, gets ahead of Wade Robinson, Wade in 12th. Good to see another driver uh, in both the uh, PlayStation and the PC Championship. And 14, t uh, sorry, 13th is going to be Matt Cower. That completes the coverage here from Brasilia with a champ car. A mixed round for a few drivers. Some drivers loved it. Some drivers cannot see the back of this car. Going back to more traditional combos. In any case, always in the Liberty Channel, we cover every OFR PC race that we can. And so it is time to say bye-bye and see you in the next round.